Hello there and welcome to the workshop. So today I'm putting in this metal bodied trim router into the Saintsmat Jumitsu 6050 Plus. Now this is a one and a quarter horsepower uh, which is uh, I think about one kilowatt um, and this thing will spin up to 30,000 rpm. Although it'll run at 30,000 rpm, probably, I probably won't be running it that hard. Uh, the maximum I'll probably run it at is between 20 and 25,000 rpm. Because, you know, these trim routers are not strictly designed to run, uh, you know, for hours permanently on. Um, but I suggest a, a you know a, a metal bodied one because the housing will actually assist with the cooling as well. Uh, and they're an air cooled unit, so I think it'll be fine. Um, however, uh, now I do notice that Same Smart with this machine are now offering a trim router. Um, as an upgrade, or oh, you can buy separately, a uh, very reasonable cost actually. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I, because I purchased this trim router before they were offering, uh, you know, a trim router with the machine. Um, so I went to eBay and searched for the best one that I could find here in Australia. Uh, one that was already in Australia and um, had it delivered here at fairly reasonable cost. Um, the reason I bought off e eBay was because I I did check with uh, the availability of Makita which I would probably rather have gone with but uh, it was $300. <laughs> I got this one for 75 bucks so uh, it had everything on it that um, you know I wanted. But it's got an on-off switch here. It's got a variable control. It'll go all the way down to I think 8,000 RPM and all the way up to 30. Um, but there was one drawback when I got it here that I didn't see in the ad or the description. Um, and being a metal body, now here in Australia and also in Europe and most probably America, if a electrical tool has a metal body, it must have an earth. Well, when I got this one here, that's the plug that was on it, obviously no earth. So I've obviously cut the plug off the end of the lead and uh, I've put my own earth lead on it. Now I didn't um, you know sort of uh, open the back of this and uh, put a complete new three call lead in it because I didn't know what I was going to find in there whether something was riveted or whether something was going to fall apart you know trying to get it apart so I thought mm, play it safe run a separate lead which I'm going to connect directly onto the body of the, the, the back plate here because there's a nice threaded hole there that I can you know sort of connect onto which is fine so I've run it through the uh, cable chain there and I brought it out down here so I'll just fetch you down here okay so so here's the cable coming here to here where I've um, sort of paired the wires back and there's the earth lead and this is a uh, power cable off a Hewlett & Packard printer power cable actually 
course the printer went out years ago but I you know I reuse everything I can so I've got some sh I've paired the wire back and I've got some shrink wrap on here and I'm just going to solder you know these together and um, I've got some shrink wrap for the outer side as well and I should be plugging it in just down here so I've got a on off switch here that I can use I've also got an on off switch here and the variable control there so all in all everything will be just fine Okay, on the uh, 6050 plus you'll find there's two little screw holes here, threaded holes. Uh, don't actually know what they're for, but perfect to put an earth wire on. So I've got a couple of flat washers and a spring washer on the end of that connection. And we will grab all of that, offer him up. I'm going the right direction. <coughs> Screw them in a bit tighter. Yeah, it, uh, just underneath that head too, there's a um, star washer which bites into the, the metal, which you know ensures that you have a good earth. And we'll be checking that shortly with a meter. So now I can uh, assemble the uh, trim rotor motor in here. Hopefully you can see the meter there, I've got it set on ohms, which is how you check a circuit, so we're on the earth terminal there, the plug. Okay, so we've got a conti continuity there, we've got earth to the chassis of the machine, earth to the body of the router. So this machine now is earthed as it should be with its trim router. Okay so we'll now for the big test. So we've got it plugged in, switched on. works okay and of course now it's perfectly safe and earthed. So that is how to put an earth onto uh, something that hasn't got an earth and uh, that's the correct way of doing it. Um, I would advise if you're doing any electrical work at all get one of these test meters. It's uh, commonly called an AVO for amps, amps, watts and, and um, ohms. Quite a few of you in Australia are saying to me in the comment section and email saying, oh, you can't buy these in Australia. Well, actually you can. 
um, you just send them an email telling them that you want to buy one into Australia and they'll sell you one uh, just because it you know on on the ads says that you know it says um, uh, America England wherever and wherever it does mean to say because it's not listed there they won't sell sell one into Australia because they will <laughs> proof in the pudding I've got one um, so there you go that's how to put uh, a metal bodied trim router into the Saint Smart Jumitsu 6050 plus and uh, I'm not sure maybe the next uh, video I'll be doing a 3d cut on that uh, but I do need to get on and finish the Queen Ant as well um, and so I'm probably going to start working on that again next week I've got quite a few of you asking me oh when am I going to finish the Queen Ant um, well I will finish it <laughs> Um, at this stage, uh, I'm going to be getting on with that next week. Um, okay, so press like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. And if you really like what I'm doing, you could consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching, and it's bye for now.